ceremony. There's a question of the 23-year-old who comes in on the prisoners of war during World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. This ceremony symbolizes that they are with us in spirit. Please direct your solemn attention to the video screen. The table is round to show our everlasting concern. The tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their motives. The glass is inverted to symbolize their inability to share this day's toast. The candle symbolizes everlasting hope. The single red rose reminds us of their families and loved ones. A slice of lemon to remind us of their bitter fate. The salt symbolizes the tears of their families. The chair is empty. They are missing. We honor their service. Now please direct your attention to the West End Zone, where we will announce today's road to all the women facing the land of all the walls who were pleased to be the prison. Call out when you hear your name. Air Force Colonel William Austin II. Major Malcolm Higgins, Army Captain William English, Navy Commander Robert Finn. Henry Leitner, Army Corporal Doris Miser, Jr., Army Air Force Captain William Mooney, Jr., Army First Lieutenant Otis Morgan, Army Major William Moore, Army Air Force Second Lieutenant Lewis Page, Jr., Marine Captain Weston Flack, Army Air Force Captain Francis Scarborough, Army Brigadier General Ben Stark. Army Colonel Albert Smarr. Army First Lieutenant Howard Vassey. And Air Force First Lieutenant Samuel Vaughn. Now please direct your attention to the East Five Yard Line where the Post University Ranger Club is placing a wreath along with helmets and boots on top of rifles signifying those men and women who have been laid to rest. Today's 21-gun salute will be conducted by the Pershing Rifles in the East End Zone. Cadets and veterans, present arms.
Brother Arms. school seniors who are spending the day seeing what the Clemson experience is all about. Please give them a warm welcome. We conclude our halftime ceremonies. Piper Band and the seniors perform American Salute. 